Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and in today's video we'll be focusing on something that you've probably heard me talk about quite a lot during the live streams, but I've never dedicated a video to it before. Yes, this is about working out, staying healthy, and uh, most importantly, finding the motivation to get out there and move your body, and maintaining this same motivation. Honestly, when it comes to motivation, this is something that could be split up into two different categories. Finding the motivation and starting, that's one thing. Maintaining the motivation and keep doing it enough so that it actually matters. Now that's a completely different story. Now I happen to be lucky enough to have the perfect motivation that works for me, and that is friends. By now, some of you already know Arendt. He's going to be a big part of this channel in the future. We're actually going to work on this channel together and even going to rename the channel based on that. This because we're moving to the Philippines together where we're going to live for a year to begin with. After that, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, if everything works out, we'll stay longer. Now, this guy, however, is a guy that you have never seen on this channel before. This is Jens. And he has also been a very important and positive influence whenever I've been lacking the motivation to get outside of the apartment. At the same time, I'm also trying to be the driving factor whenever possible. Now, if you were in the same situation as I was about a year ago when I really wanted to get out and lose a couple of kilos, I wanted to get rid of that annoying back pain that I felt every once in a while, and maybe even, like me, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a big important factor as well, I want to be able to look decent wearing only my swimming pants, because yes, as I said, I'm moving to the Philippines and I love the white sand beaches and the warm crystal clear water that we don't have much of here in Sweden. Now my goal is not to try to look like Henry Cavill, Alexander Skarsgård or uh, Hugh Jackman. I just simply don't have that kind of drive. I just want to get in decent shape and I want to maintain uh, just a healthy lifestyle and lose those... Uh, in my case it was like 7 or 8 kilos that I felt was unnecessary weight on my body. Now if I can gain a few pounds or maybe a few kilos of muscles, then yeah, I'll take it. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It depends on the situation, my motivation and the time I have to spend in... Uh, well, if we have access to a gym once we move to the Philippines or how much time I have before we get there. Now when it comes to working out, there are thousands, maybe tens of thousands of Mr. Know-it-all that knows all the perfect programs and all the perfect ways of gaining muscle, losing weight and all that stuff. But all of that is going to be completely useless if you can't find the motivation to get out there and do it in the first place. And I would say this, do not overestimate yourself in the beginning, do not start too hard. Be patient. Let your body adjust and gradually increase the amount of strain you put on your body. I actually made the big mistake in the very beginning of starting off too hard by jogging and jogging quite intensively and I had to take a quite long break, several months break actually, before I could get back at it again. It's a classic mistake that way too many of us make in the beginning. Now, the thing about pushing one another and motivating one another does not mean that you have to do everything the same. The fact of the matter is that me and Orent, we work out quite differently. He is far more organized than I am, and uh, for the first part of his workout, he focused only on weight loss. And uh, in a few months, he lost about 20 kilos, actually. And I know it's kind of hard to believe, but the pants he's wearing there, about 5-6 months before this footage was taken, he was able to wear those pants without the belt and they fit him perfectly. Yeah, it's a bit of a different story now. So after he lost, I think after he lost his first 12, maybe 14 kilos, he started focusing more on uh, weightlifting and uh, bulking. He is focusing a lot on his stomach, his chest muscles, and being that he works in construction, his arms are already in really good shape or well, at least compared to mine. Now one of his main exercises is what you see here, sit-ups. He does 500 of them every day, and I think it is 100, uh, 100 regular, 100 on the left side, 100 on the uh, right side. He does 100 of these ones, and then he uh, alters um, his leg movements left and right for 100 times as well.
moving moving to a new house. Oh, this is much bigger. You have so much more space here now. It's my summer camp. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky getting a, your hands on such a modern facility. Now, I know that a lot of you guys will be thinking that you don't have those friends that will push you and support you and motivate you to get out there and uh, start losing some of those pounds that you might want to lose and that you might have been thinking about for quite a while. Now the thing about it is, you can be that friend to somebody else. This is a give and take situation. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing unusual with one person being the driving force or some such, but in the long run, normally everyone has their ups and downs and even the most driven person may every once in a while need a little bit of a push and a little bit of support him or herself. Now I hope that I have given at least some of you a little bit of motivation. Maybe this will inspire some of you to get out there and at least try it out, give it a go. And uh, the most important thing is don't give up. Thanks for watching.